but I do either acrylic or watercolor. I'm actually just starting out. Having them in your analytics and tracking them is very good. I do a little of everything. I do paint, I do craft. Acrylic's my passion. I've been painting through most of my life. So I started painting rocks about three years ago, and I really particularly <laughs> enjoy doing colorful dogs, especially pit bulls, happy, smiling dogs with big old tongues. You know what you need to make in order to pay your electric bill, to pay your mortgage, to buy your food. I haven't been doing this very long, actually only been painting at all about five years and only been watching the Sherpa videos for a couple of years. Does anybody want to share something that they learned about her customers? Have you found anything yet? It's always a good time when Cinnamon and John are involved. <laughs> I don't know what's happening here, but I haven't told them how to survive trolls. I'm compliant. Just don't feed me to anything. I'm going to jail, so I can't oh, stay long. No. They're I'm throwing me in jail. I don't know, it's our jail. Art cops turned me in. Getting that information from someone who has been there and done that is very valuable. Actually, to start my business, that, that's what I was trying to get. It's a cold, cold galaxy. OK, seriously, if I get frozen, you are in so much trouble when I thaw out. This one is more personal than the one where the large group type run through, do a painting. So this is a training event. It's very different than what I've been to before. So uh, that's why when you see me do giveaways on Facebook, I do a poll. But this is actually to help build businesses. This is what happens when you infringe on copyright. <laughs> hey, everybody! Free! Free the Sherpa! But if you're already involved with artwork like a year following Cinnamon, then you could get quite a bit from this event on how to start a business. That it is not even 11 o'clock and I am so happy to be here. I would highly recommend it. I think for the networking purposes, it's awesome. For the wealth of information from Cinnamon and from John, it makes you feel like anything's possible. What are you trying to slip in here, man? I just came up to say hello to a long-time yeah, friend. John, Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Getting the business together with the business plan. There's some things that I learned about my mission statement. That's very important. All right. Okay. <laughs> See, this is what we negotiate. So I hear it's hundred dollars to get me out. Your Republic credits are no good here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Marketing to retirees or something. I was like, wow, that is something I didn't even think about using to my advantage that I think will be big. Cinnamon has told some stories that are surprising as far as how things happened or how you build out a calendar so that it's appealing to the community and would keep you busy and make a profit. I'm learning some really concrete ideas about how to have a physical presence in my community that actually has an impact that I want. Not only is the training applicable just right here, but really the local small business bureaus and the mixtures that they have. I've been through a lot of training and this is some of the best material that I've come across. Empowered to go and find the resources that I need within my local community. Oh, I think it's good. I've learned a lot of valuable information. I've been introduced to a lot this weekend that I feel would help me be very successful. I would tell someone that this is the crash course in how to start a business, like a passion business. I think I would recommend this to anyone. This is my fifth art trip event. I would recommend this to friends. I can paint, but how does the money happen? Like, yeah, they made the connection.